Okay, next we are going to discuss about EC2 SSM manager run command. So we can recover our private key or sorry public key by the help of EC2 systems manager. So let's see how we can do that. So here you can see that this is my local system. Okay. So listen, so this is my AWS account. So in my AWS account I have a server, so this is my server, right? Okay. So here I have another, uh, another uh, service, the service name is EC2 systems manager. Okay, so I can uh, manage my systems uh, like a server by the help of EC2 systems manager. So I will execute this script on systems manager. So I will uh, replace this public key into my public key, real public key. So we have to create one public key, then we have to uh, paste the public key over here. Okay, later, so this command is going to copy this key and it will paste on authorized key. Okay, it will paste on authorized key. Okay, so later we can access our server by the help of that created private key. So first we need to create a public and private key. So we will get the public key, then we will paste the public key over here, then we will remove this public key. Okay, I'll remove this, okay. So I'll remove this first, then whatever the key you created. So the key I have to paste over here. So then we will execute this script on systems manager. You getting? So very simple concept. It will take maximum two to three minutes. Not at all complex. Okay. So first, let me do one thing. I'll go to my uh, EC2 virtual machine. Okay. So this virtual machine we already done, right? I'll create one more virtual machine, VM2. So go to Linux in, uh, launch instance. So this is my VM2. Uh, then I'll select my key pair name. So key pair name I'll select, uh, okay, proceed without a key pair. I not require any key pair now. Okay. So then come down. Okay, then a launch instance. Okay. So now I'm going to create a virtual machine 2. And I didn't select any key, right? I didn't select any key, but I will create a key over you. Okay, without any expiry time. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So first we have to go to virtual machine console. So this is my virtual machine too that is in pending state, right? So I'll do one thing. I will select my virtual machine. Then I will go to action. So what was the first prerequisite? SSM. SSM full access, right? So I'll go to action and I'll go to security. Then modify IAM role, right? So we have to select IAM role. See, I've been already created the IAM role. You can see that SSM full access. If you want to create IAM role, so you have to click create a new IAM role. So go to IAM uh, console. If any doubt, please let me know. Okay. So I can reiterate once again. No problem. Okay. So once you understand, then we'll go. No problem. Okay. So I'll go to my IAM console. Uh, then I'll try to create a new policy or role, whatever it can be. Okay. If it is a server, we have to create a role, not a policy. Okay. Okay. I'll create a role. To create role, we have to select create a role. So beneath you will be get all the permissions. See, so to whom I'm creating this policy? Yeah, AWS services, right? So who going to use the service? EC2. EC2. I'll select my EC2 instance. Okay. Then I will select next. Okay. Then we have to select the SSM full access. See, I will uh, search for SSM full access and you can see that SSM full access over here. Okay. So select this policy or other policy and get uh, click next so just put any name you want okay i'll put uh, ashik test ssm whatever we can put any name no problem then create a role okay and that is going to create one ec2 instance role okay successfully created i'll go to my ec2 instance uh, if you refresh over you will be able to find the newly created role see ashik test ssm right so i will select the role then update iam role okay this we have to do okay so once you done that you have to reboot your system or else you have to stop and start your system. That is a mandatory thing. Okay. If you not rebooting, it will not work. Okay. Once you reboot, once you stop and start, it will work. So better you can stop and start instead of rebooting. Okay. So I will select my virtual machine too. Uh, then I will uh, just click instance state. I will stop my instance. So let's wait. So it will take around 20 to 30 seconds. Wait. So this is third method. Okay. Third method. So this three method is a very important. Fourth is not at all important, but even you have to learn that how we can do. Okay. So it's a stopping state. Okay. So now my instance is stopped, right? So I will click again. I will start it again. So instance state and start. So now it's a pending state. Status stop going. Ingrid, I tell you something. I put a signature. I put a signature. 
നമ്മൾ ഇലാസ്റ്റിക്ക് പേസ് ഉണ്ടാവുമല്ലോ ഓ ഇലാസ്റ്റിക്ക് പേക്കും കമ്പനി ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ നോ യു ക്യാൻ സി ദർ മൈ ബി എം ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ആക്റ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് റണ്ണിങ് റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ നോ വി ഹാവ് ടു സെർച്ച് വൺ സർവീസ് നെയിം സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എസ് എസ് എം സോ പ്ലീസ് നോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഡൗൺ എസ് എസ് എം സർവീസ് നെയിം ഈസ് എസ് എസ് എം ഓക്കെ സോ ഐ ഗോ ടു സിസ്റ്റംസ് മാനേജർ ദിസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് എസ് എസ് എം സിസ്റ്റംസ് മാനേജർ ഓപ്പൺ ദി സർവീസ് നെയിം സോ ദൻ ഗോ ടു ഡൗൺ ബോട്ടം യു ക്യാൻ സി ദാറ്റ് റൺ കമാൻഡ് ഓക്കെ വി ക്യാൻ എക്സിക്യൂട്ട് സം സെർട്ടൻ കമാൻഡ്സ് ഓൺ അവർ സിസ്റ്റം ഓർ മൈ വിർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ സോ ഐ വിൽ സെലക്ട് റൺ കമാൻഡ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് വിസിബിൾ റൈറ്റ് okay so i will just click run command so just click run command okay so here you can see that actually we have a different system for example if you want to execute ansible playbook so we can select aws apply ansible playbook so my requirement is i want to execute one shell script right so i will search shell and you will be able to find one device over here see aws run shell script and linux and mac os device right so i will select the last one so come down so we have to copy and paste our command over here so what is the command echo eh edan bro idana so we have to search shell and we will be able to find aws run shell script on linux and mac operating system so i will select this okay so then we have to uh, execute our command over here. what is the command echo eh public key public key right so we have to copy and paste the public key over here okay then greater than <coughs> okay home actually what is the exact location of my key pair authorized authorized key right so i'll specify home then slash <laughs> ec2 minus user <laughs> dot ssh okay authorized keys okay authorized keys i have to specify this see now i need to specify my public key as well see till now i didn't created any key right okay so i'll create one more key i'll go to my uh, terminal again so how to create a key ssh key gen, key gen. okay minus sir i'll specify one key name for ssm i'll specify ssm okay end and that is going to create one key pair so now you can see that successfully created 3072 bit right i'll go to my directory and you'll be able to find ssm key over you so next up we have to copy this key open with notepad so i'll copy the key Ah. then we have to go to session manager then we have to paste over you okay paste successfully done successfully pasted right you can see that over you right any doubt any doubt sir authorization eh yeah keys in the letter okay keys authorized keys okay so may you have to make and show the name authorized keys okay if you if you creating authorized key that will not work exactly okay so next i will come down so we have an option of we choose instance manually i will select this option then i will select my virtual machine see instance id d0f1 what is the instance name vm2 which we created earlier right so i'll select the operator sorry virtual machine uh, come down so they are asking do you want any log so if you want automatically that will push to s3 bucket okay i don't want any log and all so i'll come down then i will run this script run okay in progress we will refresh it and you can see that success right okay i'll go to my uh, command prompt again i'll try to access uh, by newly created ssh key what is the key name ssh ssh yes, right ec2 minus user at the right i have to specify the public ip address i'll go to my virtual machine vm2 and get the public ip address of vm2 and uh, paste over it that's it okay end yes connected successfully okay any doubt ssm ssm i'll repeat